Age is the number one factor in colorectal cancer. More than 90% of people diagnosed with that disease are 50 or older. The average age, though, of diagnosis is 64. But it can strike at any age, which is why Shelly Botot tells us you should always listen to your body when it tells you something is wrong. Each year, more than 50,000 people die from colorectal cancer. But it's a cancer that can be detected early and treated successfully if you listen to the warning signs your body is giving you. Melinda Marvin was being proactive with her health by doing regular self-breast exams when she found a lump. You feel like that you're a healthy person, but you know, you get the devastating news that you have cancer and it's shocking. The good news, Melinda is a breast cancer survivor. Then three years later, during her pregnancy, Melinda's body was once again telling her something was wrong. I was having symptoms of bleeding. Okay. And so I knew that there was something wrong and I needed to see the doctor. But being pregnant, she couldn't get a colonoscopy right away. We don't want to do any invasive uh, procedures while they're pregnant. Uh, colon cancer is usually fairly slow growing, so uh, I don't think uh, um, uh, a month or two would make, uh, would make a big difference. After Melinda's son was born, she went to Aurora Bay Care Medical Center where Dr. Bogdan Christescu performed a colonoscopy. He discovered a very large polyp. Polyps are growth in the large intestine and usually they are the precursor of colon cancer. And Melinda's was cancerous. And we removed the polyp endoscopically, and the pathology showed um, a cancer inside the polyp. Extremely shocked. Devastating news to hear that you have cancer, especially for a second time. Melinda is once again cancer free because she listened to her body. Even if you are young and if you are healthy, if you have symptoms such as rectal bleeding, change in your bowel habits, abdominal pain, unexplained weight loss, uh, it's important to have them addressed. The main thing, I guess, with having had prior breast cancer and colon cancer, that you need to listen to your body's symptoms and see your doctor as soon as possible, not to wait. You know, it can save your life. It is recommended those with a regular risk get their first colonoscopy at age 50 and then every 10 years. Those with a family history of colon cancer or other risk factors should get one every five years. In the studio, Shelley Botot, Local 5 News HD.